In this video, you'll learn about the side effects of epinephrine and epinephrine's mechanism of action. Now I know my friend, pharmacology can be really challenging to learn in nursing school. So we are gonna break it down super simple for you, step-by-step step, so that you can finally understand it. And not only understand it, but also the critical thinking behind it. So do not worry, you don't need to figure everything out alone anymore for nursing school. We are here to help you every step of the way. And if you need more help with learning pharmacology in nursing school, be sure to download this free pharmacology cheat sheet that we have for you that walks you through how to study pharmacology step by step. The link is down below in the description for you to check that out. Now hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell and let's dive in. Okay, let's talk about epinephrine. The generic name epinephrine and the trade name EpiPen, Adrenaline, Adrenoclick, Racemepinephrine and AVQ. The pharmacologic class is an adrenergic, and the therapeutic class is an anti asthmatic, bronchodilator, and a vasopressor. The indications for epinephrine are life threatening anaphylactic allergic reactions, and depending on the dose, it can be used in advanced cardiac life support for both adults and pediatrics. The mechanism of action of epinephrine is that it acts on alpha-1 adrenergic receptors to cause smooth muscle contraction, so causing vasoconstriction. It also constricts the pupils. It also has some effect on the beta adrenergic receptors, which cause bronchodilation. Vasoconstriction helps to increase the blood pressure and increase the cardiac output, as well as gas exchange with bronchodilation. It also inhibits the inflammatory response that comes from the mast cells in the immediate hypersensitivity reactions, such as anaphylaxis. It does this by inhibiting the release of the mediators. The therapeutic effect of epinephrine is bronchodilation, an increase in heart rate, and an increase in blood pressure, and relief from the inflammatory allergic immune response. Some side effects you'll want to watch out for if your patient is taking epinephrine are nervousness, restlessness, a tremor, headache, angina, arrhythmias, hypertension, and tachycardia, which can all happen because of that fight or flight response that's turned on. This causes vasoconstriction, causing an increase in blood pressure, an increase in cardiac output, and an increase in heart rate, even if angina occurs. Hyperglycemia and GI upset can also happen because the body is in fight or flight mode and the GI system is not as active. It can cause changes in electrolytes, specifically potassium and hyperglycemia. For your nursing assessment on a patient taking epinephrine, you're going to want to monitor their vital signs very closely, watching their blood pressure and heart rate and watching their respiratory status to watch for any increased work of breathing diminished lung sounds, or changes in lung sounds. Continuous ECG monitoring should be used throughout entire IV infusion. You should monitor your patient's potassium levels since epinephrine can cause a decrease in potassium, and also watch out for hyperglycemia. Major contraindications for taking epinephrine are closed angle glaucoma because it will constrict the pupils, hypertension because it will further increase the blood pressure, and tachycardia because it can further increase the heart rate. Hypovolemia should be corrected before epinephrine is given. Patient education for your patient taking epinephrine is that it should be given for anaphylactic shock. The patient and a close family member should be taught the proper administration through IM technique. The patient should also seek further medical care after an EpiPen administration in the case of a rebound or return symptoms. Nursing considerations for epinephrine is that this is an RN double check high alert medication. Hypovolemia should also be corrected before or at the exact same time that epinephrine is given. So you would need to give fluid along with giving epinephrine. Now, if you want to deep dive into all the other medications that you need to learn about in nursing school, 
there's a lot, right? <laughs> Do not miss the medication database that we have for you inside the Nursing SOS membership community. If you are frustrated and overwhelmed because you have to figure everything out yourself in nursing school, don't worry, my friend. We will teach you everything you need to know step by step so you can learn it faster and easier. The link is down below for you to check out all of the details. Now be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with a friend and click on one of these videos right over here so you can keep rocking nursing school and go become the nurse that God created only you to be. And I'll catch you next time on the Nursing School Show. Take care. Bye-bye.